hello guys welcome to this video so in this video i'll show you yet another ai coding agent for programming and developing apps it's called as zencoder.ai if you go to the browser simply type this address and this web page will come right here it automatically builds out your applications with a simple ide similar to cursor which is a famous solutions for building your applications so inside the pricing model they do offer the free plan to actually try out their features for completely free just log in with your google account and it offers you 25 premium llm calls per day and uh, unlimited calls so their pro plan starts with 19 dollars per month and uh, now to get started simply click on login and uh, simply log in with your Google account. So click on Google or you can also use GitHub account as well. So once you log in right here, it will grant with this interface. It will have this complete IDE where it will generate your application instantly. So you can give it a name right here. Let me say free media tools. Click on accept and continue. So after you do this, so now you, you just need to download this Zen coder right inside your IDE. So simply you can, if you're using VS code, just go to the extensions tab. It's a VS code extension. So just type Zen coder. So it's got almost 56,000 installs. So click on the install button. So once you install this, you will see it will appear right here in the sidebar section. And you click on sign in, it will open the window. So now you are successfully logged in. So. So now you get basically get this chat window where you actually ask a question to generate codes for you directly inside VS code. So right here, let me open this Python file here. I can simply say generate a Python script to So we simply write the prompt here and based upon the prompt it will work on your request. So it will auto automatically check whatever is the content inside app.py and then it will try to modify it. It will use Flask framework. So automatically it will replace the content of the existing app.py file. Yeah, so as you can see it's similar to cursor and the thing is that you can automatically try this for completely free. So now I need to create the HTML template. Let me create the templates directory and the HTML file. So it will automatically create the templates here for you. So this is the code that we generated. So it will basically create the templates directory here. You can see automatically it created the templates directory and created this index.html file. So it automatically creates a file. You just need to write the prompt and then automatically it will have the run button. So click on run and it will automatically install the dependencies. So you just need to restart the terminal here. I think I just need to relaunch 
the terminal so just open a folder right here it was the folder name let me check it's github copilot project example first of all close this I think I just need to restart this. So just go to the tab here, Zen Coder. Automatically, it will uh, have all the history which you load chat sessions. If you by mistake close the VS Code. It will all have the chatting here. So click on the chat. So chat info is loading. So just wait. And click on run once. And it will directly open the terminal. And So you can see automatically suggesting some kind of as you can see the term PNB is not recognized. So it is telling us that. So let me just open command line here. Python. So Python is accessible right here, but it's not accessible in the VS code. So PN it is also accessible right here but it's not accessible right so you can manually start this by just writing python app.py or you can just open a new terminal window open this inside So you just need to install so in my specific system this command is not working but in your system it will definitely work this is just my issue after you do this you just click on this Python app.py using the Zen coder. So this will automatically start your application. So as you can see now I can simply open this application. So it basically constructed a simple image to PDF application right here. So here you simply select uh, the images and then it converts those images to PDF. If you get any sort of error in this, as you can see, you can basically ask follow up questions as well. So, if you get any sort of error. So basically it will detect which kind of error is there.
so definitely install this extension guys which is Zen Coder. it's similar to cursor in VS code just go to extensions tab and it can generate any sort of application for you so thank you very much for watching this video and also check out my website freemediatools.com uh, which contains uh, thousands of tools